Hi everyone, today's video tutorial I'm going to share with you how to create a wider traveler's notebook or journal using Eileen Hall's journal die. So this is um, the original one that I created that I had shared before and you can see it has three inserts and it's much smaller um, versus this one is much wider. Well, here's a one with acetate. So you can see it's much thicker and this has six inserts and then you can see the width is wider and so let me show you how to make it so now this one I laminated and what I did to this one which I thought was really fun was I purchased these um, really cool beaded chains from Tim Holtz's new um, collection at Joanne. It's called Assemblage. It's a new jewelry line that he has and I love the chain and then I also purchased his tokens. This one says Create and all I did was I took a jump ring, add it to the loop and then you just wrap it around and then you take that end which is a lobster class that comes with the chain and I just added another jump ring to the chain along with the token and then you just hook it on there. And then of course as the notebook gets wider and wider you would just adjust the jump ring to the chain. Okay. Now to give it extra sec security in the closure I did add a velcro. So there's a velcro right here. Okay. And then the inside, you have the four bands, and I'll show you how to add the, um, the elastic cord to it. And then you have, here I added some pockets, which I did do a video tutorial on how to create these pockets. And then you can see you add some little cards in here, and it makes a really fun and much wider traveler's notebook. Okay, now this one, I did with acetate. Now again you can do this with all the different types of materials that I shared in my other video showing the journal die. And so this one is with acetate and this is from AccuCut Craft. It's a really thick acetate. And this is another one of the Tim Holtz um, chains from his line. And then this token says travel. So again it wraps around I have the Velcro, and then these are the inserts. Now there's six total in here. So here's one, and each insert has eight pages total, okay? And then um, I'll show you how I was able to fit six. Here's the second one, here's the third one, and then um, here's the fourth one. Here's the fifth, and then the sixth one. Now this thing right here, this is really cool. I found this at Michael's. It's by Recollections, and this is the packaging right here. I shared it in my Insta story. It's called the Traveler Accessories Zipper Folder, and it retails $3.99, and it basically folds like so. And then here you could add your pencils, you know, whatever accessories you want to add in there. And then here you get three pockets, and then you get a larger pocket in the back. And what's cool is it fits perfectly with this journal die. So you can see here I added some coordinating um, ephemera pieces and adhesive chipboard pieces from the collection. And then the back, I just added some of these paper clips from Prima. And then the coordinating three by four journaling cards from the collection as well. So really cool um, pocket that you can add to this journal book. Okay, so let me show you how to put it together. And then again, you're going to use the same steps if you're using different material, chipboard, a poster board, um, if you want to laminate it, um, acetate. So let me show you how to do it here. Okay, so now I have the two cuts. You need two of these. And I'm going to share with you a little tip here. 
Now the die, let me get the die here. It only cuts out one of the covers, okay? So if you notice here, I wrote the word top because this is going to be the top of my design paper. It's just for my reference. And to get the cuts, especially when the design is going a certain direction, like say, for example, the words here, you don't want it to be upside down when you're cutting it out. So for the cover, what you want to do is when you're laying it on the die for the cover, you want, um, so here, for example, here's the cover, okay? So you notice the direction of the words. You want the cover, whatever you want on the front, you want the paper to be face down and upside down, okay? So you want it face down and upside down, okay? And then for the back, you want that to be face down, right side up, okay? So this is right side up, and you want it face down. So when you die cut both those pieces, you will have the cover, okay? And then you'll have the back piece. And then you'll notice they're both going the same direction, okay? Just a little tip, right? So let's put this together. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut, of course, the two pieces, the cover and the back. You're gonna cut an additional piece, okay? And that piece is basically this piece right here. You're just gonna cut another one of this piece that has the punched holes. Okay, so you're gonna take your two um, pieces here and you're just going to line them up like so. You're going to add adhesive to this piece because this is going to go in the center right here. And you're gonna match those two holes in the middle and the two holes in the bottom. Okay, so you're gonna glue that down. So let's get some glue here, and let's glue that down. So I'm just adding some fine line glue. You'd probably want to use like some double sided tape, because again it's the binding between the two pages. And also depending on what type of material you're going to use. You want to make sure that adhesive is really nice and strong. So just make sure those holes are all nice and lined up. And the paper is lined up as well. Just give it a good press. Okay. So there you go. And now you'll notice there's going to be a separation in the center because again you just took the two pieces and you butt them up together. If you don't like this right here, how it just splits, you can create another piece to go on top, which I did here. Okay, so this basically is um, one and a half by um, this is what, eight and three quarters. So this is one and a half by um, eight and three quarters. And you're gonna score it every three eighths of an inch. So that would be three eighths, three quarters, one and one eighth, okay? And then you would just place it right on top and that will give it extra stability to the, the middle, like so. And then you will just punch the holes and you would use, um, I use my Big Bite. Okay, that way it could reach all the way to the middle, the middle of that hole. Okay. Now, if you're going to use the elastic band, okay, for the binding, you want to make sure you punch that other hole because you're going to see only one hole is punched on both papers and one isn't. Okay, so you'll just have to punch that hole. Okay, so I'm not going to add this extra piece on there. So that's what you do there, and that's all you do to get it wider, basically. All right, and then for this part right here, to make this one wider, you're going to take two of these pieces. You're going to see you know, there's, there's going to be four score lines. So there's one, two, three, four. You're going to cut on the second scored line. So cut on the second one. Okay, so you'll get that. You're going to take the other piece that you cut out and you're going to 
cut at the first and the fourth scored line. So cut those two pieces out. So you're just going to have the center, okay? So you'll have that. And then all you're going to do is take these two pieces and adhere it like so. So you're going to adhere it to the two ends and you're going to end up with five scored lines versus the four, okay? And then it's going to look like this. So you'll get that. Okay, so that's how you do that. And that's pretty much it. Um, I'll show you the binding. The binding is a little bit different on this one versus um, the ones that I made prior because again, this is much wider. So what you're gonna do is, I'm gonna use this thinner elastic because this is just paper. So I'm just gonna show you really quickly here. And I got this at Joanne. Fabrics. Let's see if I can find the opening here. And this is um one millimeter. Oh no. Yeah, I think it's one millimeter the thickness on this. Okay. So what you're gonna do, you don't need a needle for this one because the holes are a much wider. All you're gonna do is you're gonna start from the bottom right. You're gonna go from the outside in. You're gonna run it through. You're gonna run it through the second one. Go in. Okay, and then again, like I did on the other ones, you wanna leave enough past that middle um, hole there. So we're gonna do this. Just adjust it, like so. Okay, and then we're gonna take this end, again, go past that middle circle, and then we're gonna cut. So now you're gonna run that through this, the middle, and then you're going to tie. So then tie that up. Okay, I tied it. Hold on, let's try that again. So tie that up. Okay, so that gives you the two elastic bands. Now you're going to do it again. This time you're going to start on the far left and do the same thing. Start from the back, go in. Go to the top and go out and go back in. Again, you want to pass a little bit on that middle score line because we want to save as much elastic as we can. Okay, and then I'm going to take this, go over that. I'm going to eyeball it. I'm going to run that through that last hole. And then we're going to tie. And then that's going to give you four elastic bands there. So you've got four there. Okay, so that's how you do that for the elastic band. So you're going to have the one, two, three, and four. Okay, and then you can cut these to, you know, make it look much cleaner. Now, to make the notebooks, okay, let me show you how I did the notebooks. Now, to be able to get six, because again, there's only four, what I did to two of them was um, I took the notebook, and these notebooks, they measure eight and a half inches wide by eight and a quarter in height, okay? So that's the measurement for the notebooks. And all I did was, here's two of them, I made a band to go around it. So you could, I made this elastic band. This basically is 14 inches, okay, so here's a 14 inch elastic band. All I did was just line the two ends like so, and then I just tied a knot closest to the end 
leaving a little bit, just enough, so you can see here, I leave just enough, and then of course I cut it, because you know, I like it nice and even, and then you've got your little extra band, okay? So what that does is when you make the two notebooks, okay, all you're gonna do is take one of the notebooks, wrap this band around it, just wrap it around, Okay, so you got the, it like this. Take the second notebook, run that through this elastic, like so, and now you've got the two. And see how they're connected? Then you're going to take that, place it through your first band, and that counts as two notebooks. Okay, see how I did that? So now you got one, two. This is just using just the one band, three. These two took the third band, four. And then I did, again, the double notebooks for the last band. That makes five and six. Okay, so that's how I was able to um, do that. And if you want to do the double to the other two, that will give you what? Two, four, six. That would give you eight notebooks in here. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so that's how I did it. So if you have any questions, leave a comment down below. But that's how you create it to make it much wider. And I hope you give it a try. Thanks for watching. Bye.